What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It is Akiafalos here and today we are going to be taking a look at the Path of Champions inside Legends of Runeterra. We're going to be doing a run here with Caitlyn. So as usual, if you guys want to enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like as well as hit that big red sub button down below. I'll be grateful and thankful of your support, but most importantly, you won't miss the next upload here on my channel. And with that being said, let's jump right back in. Let's get things started. So, um, a bit of a grammatical correction there. It's not we are going to be doing a run. We are actually going to be continuing the run essentially with Caitlyn um, we've already started it of course and we are you know in a very very good position I believe we have a lot of good upgrades um, in this particular run as well eight copies of sting officers with amazing powers uh, what refill mana quick attack as well as plus two plus zero so it's a very very buffed up card a very beefy card but uh, regardless we're gonna have to you know continue on press on with a run um, all those boosts are gonna count for nothing if we can make something out of it so let's go ahead and take on the next note which is Jinx first we're gonna have to head through the heal first we have a full health so I'm not gonna heal, I am gonna leave. And now let's head to Jinx. Okay, when the foe gains the attack token, each player discards a random card and draws one. All right, so this could be, you know, we we we, we have to really think about this so that we have uh, essentially a few, you know, uh, junk cards. Essentially, I, I'm not really sure what's the correct term, but you know, cards that we are not, uh, you know, we are not we are not too worried about losing. So um, I'm gonna keep some junk cards in hand, and the veteran investigator is one of them. Uh, I'm gonna keep the Timo, and we will definitely keep the two sting officers. Caitlin, help me. Tremello? What are you doing here? Oh, you're with the sheriff. Interesting. Oh, whatever. Caught the little doodle dangle sneaking around my stuff. Well, this thing off is great, but we can't play him yet. Let's, let's uh, bring on Timo. Reporting in. Okay, um, I'm gonna put on the house wump to block, I think. Now, more than likely, it's gonna pull one of this and it's gonna force our Teemo to block. I think instead, I would rather play Sting Officers, get the mana refill, and we get big damage next turn because I feel like we are gonna concede damage regardless. Because, you know, if we bring on the house wump, more than likely, the Flame Chompers is going to pull this, and um, we're going to be forced to block with the Teemo. So, essentially, we have to, you know, we we won't block with the Teemo, of course, but it's going to try to force us to block with the Teemo. So, in that, you know, taking that into retrospect, I think the best option here would be to play the Sting Officers and, you know, leave the House Womp for last. So, yeah, I think we'll do that. Son, help me to never let my guard down. Okay. So we will take damage here, no worries. Spoil the surprise? Nexus strike, right? Both of these, okay. I smell a rat. Tough places breed tough people. Okay. I was one bomb. Wait, the discard only works on game start, is it? When the foe gains the... Oh, okay, when the foe gains the attack token. Alright, okay. So... We probably could have played House Womp in the previous turn, but you know what? It's fine. We only take 5 damage. Um, okay, let's go ahead and attack with everything. Except the House Womp. It's alright. I am gonna play Poison Dart. We are gonna take out the Tree One. Why not? Since we can. 
We basically won. This game is really in our control. <laughs> Way. I'm not even here for you. No, Kate. Gotta give you points for originality. But I ain't buying it. Okay. Um, it's a risk because we essentially, you know, the, the veteran investigator draws uh, cards for both sides. But we are gonna play it because we need units to block. The sea gives me all I need. The sun rock got me good. It's fine. Let's put another sting officer on the on the board. I smell a rat. Okay, so damage mitigation this time. I think we can safely block with some of them. Um because you know we we should have more than enough damage next turn. It's a risk, it's a risk, but it's a calculated one. So, I think I'm willing to block, give up some units. Let's go ahead and give up the... Sorry, long turn. We'll give them up. It's a bit of a risk, I understand, but I think it's fine. Uh, Tilt of a Peacemaker, let's take out the... No, hold on. I think this would be better. This is how much deal 2 to a unit, right? Okay, so in that case... Yeah, we'll do this. I was thinking of dealing it to death, but we don't have anything to, you know, survive here. So, um, and, and this is, of course, deal two as well. It won't do much. So, okay, I think I'm okay with this. It's a risk, but a calculated risk. Alright, we've won next turn. If they don't summon... Well, not if they don't summon, but, you know, if uh, if they don't play anything that takes out any one of this. But, you know, in theory, we still win. There we go. Okay, let's pick up our reward. Pokey stake, deal one to draw, deal one to anything, draw one. When Castle, your nexus equal to my cost. Uh, Purple Berry, shake, grow an ally to tree tree this round. When cast, draw a champion. Uh, veteran investigator, when I'm summoned, all players draw one with the flash bomb satchel. When I'm summoned, plant two flash bomb traps randomly in the top ten cards of the enemy deck. So. These, you know, of, 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 of all the spells, um, what's going to work well is, of course, the Veteran Investigator with the Flashbomb Satchel. Um, deal 1 to anything is good, of course, and, you know, at the same time, you draw 1. But, uh, I don't know, because it's, it's I, I, you know, I would say I would want to try to go for um, what, you know, essentially what's going to help us in, uh, in, in terms of uh, leveling up the champions. And uh, what's going to help us in leveling up the champions is the Veteran Investigator because of the Flash Bomb Trap. It's going to help level up Caitlyn if we need her, of course. Right now, it seems like we're smooth, uh, steamrolling with the uh, Sting Officers. So, um, regardless, we're going to go with the Veteran Investigator because, you know, it's still a boost to a unit and, you know, it's going to help out a lot. Well, not a lot, but potentially help out a lot. Alright, cool. So let's go ahead and head to the next one, which is the Caitlyn's Choice Note. So I believe this is going to be a cutscene where we get to make a decision. So yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at it together. Jinx, this is important. Where's C? Uh, who? Uh, I guess you weren't kidding about the whole not here for me thing. <laughs> uh, my bad. But if it's all the same, I think I'm going to keep this sweat bucket for myself. Caitlyn, please! <gasps> no, no! Piltover enforcement! Freeze! Caitlin! Ah! All right.
Alright, so we have to decide uh, how our story ends. So in terms of the powers, both of which are very good. In fact, I've tried both of them. It's uh, exceptional. Both of the powers are, kind of, are very good. But uh, just on the fact that, you know, this particular run, we have a lot of boost to the Sting Officer. Um, we're going to go with the Save Tremel option first. But uh, as usual, what I will do is I will take a look at the Pursue C option um, with, you know, in another episode. So let's go ahead and go with that. Okay. So now we have the ability to take on the Sump Snipe Scavenger, which is the next uh, battle. Let's go ahead and do that. All elusive units have plus one, plus zero. That's going to suit us really, really nicely. Okay, so a good start. We have a lot of Sting Officers. We have a Veteran Investigator as well. Uh, built of a Peacemaker. We don't have a 1 cost, however. I would prefer a Teemo, but um, you know what I think I'll do? I'll just re-roll re -roll the other two units that I do not need. We will definitely keep the Sting Officers. Okay, so we don't get a Teemo, but it's fine. We have a lot of Sting Officers right now. I think we can build off of this. I'm expecting a very quick and easy victory as well. I'm gonna play Sting Officers. Son, I'm gonna never let my guard down. I'm willing to trade there because we have a lot of units. So yeah, no tough problem there whatsoever. Tough people. I smell a rat. Nothing like the great outdoors. And I think we've won next turn. <laughs> Unless it does that, of course. Um, I know I'm, I I didn't know what I was trying to expect there. It's okay. We prolong it a little bit, but you know I think we still win. Hot on the trail. Keep our flammables on the trail. Burn out it. Okay. And we win on turn 5. We'll prepare them a nice welcome. We still win. Fine. I aim to win, and my aim is excellent. One step ahead. There we go. Another criminal court, another case closed. Exceptional victory. <laughs> okay, so looks like we have to select another card here. Um, none of these really help, to be honest. The most wanted, I believe, discards our, um, you know, our lowest cost card. So it's a really situational spell. We have to see what cards we have in hand before playing it. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep that as an option. But I want to take a look at everything else first. Lecturing Yordle. When on summon an attack, create a fleeting poison dart in hand. Deal one to anything and plant three poison puff caps on a random uh, on random cards in the enemy deck. With tough, so three five with tough is good. And you know, I'm kind of sold on the poison dart, but we'll, we're gonna have to see how that works out for us. Um, Station archive. Uh, pick a spell in top five of your in, in the top five cards of your deck and create an, an exact fleeting copy in hand. Not really the greatest because you know we don't really have much spells. Um, we're relying on you know 
the sting officers to go aggressive so i think you know of all of this the best one the most beneficial one is possibly officer squad because it does draw three and you know potentially we could get a couple of sting officers in hand if uh, if all goes well so based on that fact alone and at the same time it has the epic power of scout i am gonna go for it wonderful so head to the shop and i think we should get some very good upgrades uh caitlin plus two plus two okay i'm gonna take that for sure and sting officer with the what when i'm summoned draw one another good upgrade uh, we could potentially chain off of that if we get a lot of sting officers i'm definitely gonna purchase that and built up a peacemaker just because we have extra money we can go for the uh, purchase as well okay so um we have a lot of time left so what i would like to do is i would like to take on karina and uh, we'll leave the final we'll, not the final battle we'll leave the other option with the stinky wump um for the second episode and you know we'll just carry on from there okay let's go ahead and head to the healer we are not gonna heal let's go ahead and head into the karina battle Okay, let's double check the powers first. Round start, draw one, then obliterate it. If you drew a spell, deal one to damage, deal one damage to all enemies in the enemy nexus. So, why do I say this battle? Um, you know, in a couple episodes back, I said this one, the run against Caitlyn is kind of easy, you know, in, in comparison with the others, um, the other four, of course. That's because this power, essentially, it doesn't really help the enemy. Um, you know, it's very situational, but um, of all the runs I've made with Caitlyn, um, it doesn't seem to help the enemy out a lot. I get to stack up a lot of units, and we get to essentially win on... Um, turn you know turns five or so so you know it, if i if all goes well if all goes to plan i expect a very fast a very quick and a very easy battle as well but you know i could be wrong i am also gonna keep everything here everything looks fine uh maybe we can take off the astute academic i want to see if we can get a teemo arena it was you all along oh caitlin the look on your face is as beautiful as my most precious flower. Never see these coming. I brought my books. Hope that's all right. Let's test my theory. My life is. Okay. I think we're on course to you know win this one really really quick let's try to stack some sting officers I smell rat. tough places breed tough people the sea helps me or i'm deep okay so this is wow 25 damage on turn two <laughs> amazing It's all right. You knew everything. It's no wonder we couldn't track you down. It's true. I knew so much. And you? So little. Take from the rich, give to me. Okay, so I think here what I would like to play is... Hmm. I think I'm going to play Veteran Investigate. Um, hold on, hold on one sec. When you draw, when round slot draw one, then obliterate it. If you drew a spell, deal one to, da to uh, damage to all enemies in the enemy nexus. Okay, so this is risky because, um, you know, we could essentially be killing off our own units. Um, with that in mind, I think I'm happy to pass. Don't worry. I've all about this. I will bring on double agent because you know the effect only triggers after we strike, so I get to take it out before um, you know drawing. Let's see who comes out on top. Check out the goods on this one. I will. I will do this. Opportunities double edge. Just oh, oh. Bollocks. 
Bollocks, I forgot. Oh my god, I forgot Astute Academic gets a plus one we each draw. Oh my god. Um You know what? It's fine. I think we still win here, honestly. On foot. Do we want to try to gamble and get more sting officers? Nah, I'm, I'm gonna take this straight up 10 damage. I'm not gonna risk it. Unless it does that, of course. Okay, so now we'll draw. I was worried about that. You saw how it uh, took out the um, Sting officers. I didn't want that to happen, but unfortunately it has happened. Um, but I still think we are in control. All players draw two. Do we have enough? Is it going to discard one of our cards? It probably is. We have two Mystic Shots, so we might as well play it. It just dug its own grave. We win next turn. Didn't get any good units. That doesn't matter. We still win. The block. Oh, you bastard. You bastard. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Uh, I'm gonna bring on these sting officers. I smell a rat. This is elusive, so we get guaranteed damage regardless. We've basically won here. I'm just gonna stack them on. Just because we can. It's okay. At least we at least we flush that out, so that's most important. Son, I to never let my guard down. Tough places bring tough people. Very nice. Let's bring on Caitlyn just for the sake of it. We've already won recently. I'm just gonna bring on Caitlyn for fun. My aim is excellent. News from the Undercity ship, Detective Zane. It's all in the report, Sheriff. Wonderful. Satisfactory outcome. I give up, Sheriff. You did so very well. I trusted you, Karina. I took you for a person of good standing. Yes, you did. You all did. And how well you serve me. Well, at least Piltover can finally rest. Mm. But my dear, you forgot one thing. To kill the flower, you must pull out all of its roots. Very nice. That is adventure complete. Let's check out our badges, A, S, and S. Um, it doesn't matter. Um, it spelled something that I'm not going to say. <laughs> Just realized that. But um, you know what? I'm, I'm happy with this. I'll pre I, we can probably try to work on getting the S badge for skill um, some other time. So um, that is pretty much the ending one for Caitlyn's run. Um, and I believe, you know, we are going to redo, uh, we're going to redo the run and we're going to take a look at ending too. So if you guys enjoyed this, uh, you know, this uh, episode of uh, Path of Champions of Legends of Runeterra, uh, please be sure to leave a like as well as hit that big red sub button down below. I'll be grateful and appreciative of your support. But most importantly, you won't miss the next upload here on the channel. This is Kefalo signing off. Thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.